On my motorcycle travels, I've ridden through my fair share of tunnels. Some beautiful feats of civil engineering, others pretty much... Here's a hole in the mountain, now you can get to the other side. Enjoy, and try not to get hurt. Some of the most claustrophobic tunnels I've been through were in China. Long, narrow tunnels, just high enough to fit a truck. Unlit and the air full of dust because there's no ventilation. Pretty gnarly, you'd think, right? But then, I arrived in Tajikistan, and I had to ride through the most notorious tunnel in the world. The Anzop Tunnel, being 5 kilometers long at an altitude of almost 3,000 meters. Connecting the Tajik capital, Dushanbe, with the second largest city in this mountainous country west of the Himalayas. The Anzop Tunnel opened in 2006, while being far from done. I mean seriously far, far, far from being done. And when I arrived there back in 2014, it still wasn't finished. Its reputation had preceded it, since I had run into other riders on the way there who had told me mad tales of experience, of a dust and smog-riddled darkness with no ventilation, and large deep potholes that could suddenly drop the motorcycle from under you. But that wasn't all. Depending on the season, the tunnel would flood with meltwater coming from the mountains. Before arriving, I had already mentally prepared for the worst. This might be the infamous Anzop Tunnel. I'll have a look. Looks uh, slightly crappy right from the start. Excellent. And uh, it's gonna be some nice five kilometers. And once there, I entered the belly of the beast, also lovingly known as the Tunnel of Death. It starts out not too bad. And I already counted my blessings since it didn't look flooded. But soon enough, you begin to notice the potholes and the worn down asphalt. Roadblocks pop up in the dark and there is oncoming traffic on the wrong side of the road. Construction workers are working on sections of the tunnel and you're supposed to ride around them. Meanwhile, there is this continuous loud haunting noise of the giant mobile ventilators placed on one side of the road. At one point, all the vehicles came to a halt in a congested and flooded section of the tunnel. Now we're stuck already. Cars and trucks are honking, trying to maneuver around each other, and it's just confusion in the darkness. Can you imagine a fire breaking out down here? of water and sometimes even see it through gaps in the wall coming from the drainage system that they had cut out next to the road. Holy shit! <laughs> the last
last half of the tunnel wasn't that bad. Dodging large potholes, small floods, oncoming cars, and avoiding parked vehicles and construction workers in the dark. In the end, what I loved the most about the experience was that people inside the tunnel seemed completely unfazed. This was a normal part of life here, in one of the most obscure and remote corners of the world. <laughs> Once on the other side, you're greeted by beautiful wild mountain peaks, so characteristic to Tajikistan, all the while breathing in the abundant fresh air, having made it out of the madness that is the Anzop Tunnel. Well, that wasn't even nearly as bad as predicted, but it was the best tunnel experience ever and it definitely dwarfed my uh, China tunnel experiences. So it was pretty fun, especially the first part is hectic. People stuck in traffic, it's great. Then, as I said before, you get to the other side. Boom. Hello. Good morning. 10 out of 10 would do again. But I think that by now, they've actually finished the tunnel.